Hello and welcome to Bannerlord, and this time we're focusing on the adventures of Pelasaur. Yeah, if you've seen the Barney playthrough, there will be a link in the description if you haven't, but if you have, then you know exactly who Pelasaur is, and we're going to be playing as him this time around. So, I'm going to be playing as the Azurai here, or at the very least, I will be taking their culture, because I'm going to be doing a bit of a trading character here. Now, let's just begin trying to customize this fellow to look relatively similar to Pelasaur. Now, as far as I'm aware, Pelasaur did have a beard of some, some kind. So I guess we'll just have a look here and see if we can find something suitable. All right, so I think I've uh, probably matched him a little bit here. As you can see, I basically just added a mustache because I think he does have a uh, somewhat short mustache right there. And I have no idea about his voice pitch. I'm just going to raise it a little bit. I think that could be quite funny. And I don't know how tall or short Pelosaur is. I think he's actually kind of short, maybe. So we'll just kind of make him a little bit, a little bit shorter right there. All right, so I'm pretty good to continue here now. Here's the thing. We're going to be creating a trading character, as I said in the introduction. And, uh, well, that means that I will need a whole bunch of riding skill as well. So I will try to... <laughs> oh, uh, this might be problematic, yes. Don't think they're really going to give me trade and riding in any of these selections. So I will try, if I can, to make that happen. But, um, as you can see... Riding and medicine, that might be pretty good. I guess I'll go for riding and medicine for that one. Riding and steward seems pretty good, but we also need to go for trade and charm. So trade and charm is what we'll be selecting there. And then otherwise we have riding and bow, bow and engineering, polearm and one-handed, and throwing and bow. Well, I will go for riding because we need more riding skill. And then we have tactics and leadership. Personally, I feel like leading a caravan should give me trade skill, but... Uh, I guess investing is going to give me the uh, the trade skill right there. So I guess I'm going to go for a little bit more in that. And then we will do ooh, uh, riding and scouting, I suppose, seems to be what we will take. Yes, riding and scouting. There we go. All right. So, Pelosaur, welcome back, sir. Welcome back. And uh, if you would like to also play a trading character, there are a uh, number of mods that I have installed that will help us with that. And um, you'll see those in the description under the mod list. And uh, there you go. All right. So if you'd like to take a look as well and play alongside me, apart from the mods, these are my selections. So if you'd like to uh, pause the video, then you can, of course, do that. We will be playing on realistic across the board. And we'll also play on veteran combat difficulty. I could play on challenging, but I think considering it's a trading kind of character and maybe not exactly good at fighting, then maybe maybe we'll just leave it. Sh should I put it on challenging, actually? I could put it on challenging. I don't really mind. Uh, yeah, okay, why not? Let's put it on challenging just for fun. But uh, <laughs> is it is it fun? We'll see. All right, and here we are. This is uh, this is where we have spawned in. Now, bear in mind that I do have the "Let Me Play" mod. Just "Let Me Play" mod. That's the uh, that's the mod that basically skips all of the annoying busy work that you're going to have to do to you know get to the point where it says to you, "Oh, now you can create your own faction." So here's the thing. That's exactly what I've done. I just have this quest. This is the first initial quest that you're going to have with that mod. And then after you've completed this, you will then be able to create your own faction after that, after fulfilling a bunch of other uh, prerequisites, I suppose you could call it. But anyway, we do have a couple of skills here. I am going to be specking into trade as much as humanly possible. And as you can see, we already have something to go for here. So 5% decreased trade penalty for equipment or 5% decreased trade penalty for trade goods. I actually have no idea what I'm going to go for. I think I'm going to go for wholesaler for the moment because we're most likely going to be making most money from selling trade goods and things like that. I also have some riding skill, 6% increase to horse hit points. I guess that's okay. We're going to increase my social skill as well because I want to get charm, trade, and then eventually riding because I already have five in endurance here. So riding is going to be really, really fast to level up, or at least I can only hope so. And otherwise, we just have 
a one-handed sword, and we also have a bow. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't really wanting a bow, to be honest, but oh well, never mind. Okay, so now here's the thing. The trading is not going to be that effective to begin with because I have not been to any other places. However, the mods that I have installed do let you know a little bit of information by highlighting what is good to buy and what is bad to buy. So, for example, the average cost of cheese. This is above the average cost of cheese, so it's probably not the best idea to buy this because you're probably going to be able to buy it somewhere else. Now, beer, for example, that is neutral. So that's basically kind of breaking even if you uh, want to do that. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it. And clay, on the other hand, very cheap. So I could buy clay here and then I could sell it at a nearby town or something like that for a lot of money. But I'm actually not going to be doing that right now because I would like to recruit some people, if at all possible. We do have someone here. We do have a Wanderer here, which, whoa, has 200 two-handed fighting skill. That might be really, really good for us, but I don't think so. Anyway, there is a trading guild. So this is a trading guild right here, and you can basically have a look at what is trending at the moment. Obviously, I have not let the game run at all, so we cannot see what the daily profits are like. But as time goes on, we will be able to, you know, come back to this screen, and we will then have the opportunity to see what is the best and what I need to invest in as a result. And uh, you can also rebrand yourself a little bit as well. So for example, I'm the B Trade Guild at the moment. I guess we could call ourselves the... Yes, I did not want to do that. Unfortunately, the, uh, <laughs> the various, shall we say, um, keybinds, as you can see, for the um, various menus are also bound to this. So it actually makes it a little bit tricky. What? What is happening now? Well, apart from the fact that, uh, unfortunately, when you try to rename your trade guild, you do get those menus coming up due to the keybinds, of course. Apart from that, we do have an encyclopedia here, which does give you much more detailed information as to what you should be supplying to your various workshops. So this very much helps if you, uh, for example, having, um, I don't know, like a a bakery or something like that, then you're going to be able to take grain to this place and uh, a, wood, a wood wood shop, you know, you can take hardwood to this place and so on and so forth. So let's say that I wanted to, uh, I don't know, let's say I wanted to do a wine press and you could see here that this is all of the places that have wine presses at the moment and you're going to be able to see that. And it really does make a big difference. So I'm, I'm very happy that um, this mod is actually available and out there and all that stuff. Anyway, I have also installed a mod called Advanced Azurai. Basically what that does is it just fixes the Azurai troop trees because I don't know whether you know, but the Azurai troop trees are kind of incomplete, a little bit broken. So it's nice to see that that is no longer the case. All right, so I'm going to be in a, in a bit of... Uh, <laughs> oh dear, going to be in a bit of problems here, yes. A bit of trouble, because I only have a very small amount of people at the moment, and I would like to be able to recruit as many of them as I possibly can. We should probably also be on the lookout for very cheap goods, but I have to be a bit careful about that as well, because no doubt you can actually see I only have an uh, inventory capacity of 70. So what I'm going to have to do is I will have to head over to these uh, villages that actually have a couple of horses for sale, and I will probably have to buy a couple. So let's buy um, let's buy some mules as well. Uh, should I spend a lot on these? I guess I probably should. I mean, it's probably going to make the most sense to do that. But unfortunately, now I am in a bit of a bit of a problematic situation because I don't have a huge amount of cash to be able to recruit people now either. But I hope that we will be able to do that. So let's just recruit. There we go. There we go. Nice. Seems like someone literally just came by here and cleaned them out. And that has made things a bit difficult for me. So you can already see right here, this butter, the trade rumors, you can buy it for 33 and sell it for 45. Personally, I wouldn't do that. I feel like the uh, profit margin is way, way too little for us to make any kind of headway there. So I'm going to just continue walking through. Ooh, nice. We already gained a tier two unit. That's that's cool. All right. 
And then, then what else do we have here? Bear in mind that, of course, because we have only been to one town so far, it is not giving us a very detailed information about where we can sell things and where we can buy things for a cheaper price. So, for example, uh, this one. Again, butter. That's the only thing that it's really giving us any kind of notification on because these dates right here, they're probably going to sell for quite a bit at a different place. Oh, hello, looters. Do you want to fight? Apparently, they do want to fight. This is actually kind of weird. I would not have expected them to attack me right here, but apparently they are. Now, what I can do is I can use my charm skill and indeed a little bit of cash to be able to buy them off. And technically, I would do this if I had a little bit of extra money. But as it stands right now, I don't have a huge amount, so I am going to just be doing this the old-fashioned way and... We're just going to be fighting them. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go, because let's face it, I am really, really bad with one-handed weapons on horseback. So I'm hopeful that I will be able to maybe do a little bit of damage with my bow here. Uh, Byron is going to have to uh, help me out a little bit. Oh, nice headshot. Yes, because as you can see, I no doubt uh, can show you that I have literally no bow skill whatsoever. My tactic skill is doing all right, but maybe I should get in there with my, with my sword a little. There we go. Nice. Nice. Yes, yes. A little bit of extra damage. We are we are losing a couple of people, but that is to be expected. Oh, 99 damage. Nice. Okay. Maybe I can get those guys. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay. Now, oh, my last guy was taken down. But that's okay because we are going to achieve victory here. And, wow, this guy has taken an absolute beating, hasn't he? Literally. Wow. But there you go. We have won the battle thanks to me having a bow and being uh, on a horse. <laughs> That's literally it. Yes, that is literally it. Thankfully, not many of my people actually ended up dying, so I will now be able to level them up into a Mamluk soldiers. And hopefully those Mamluk soldiers are going to be on mounts, or at least I hope that is indeed the case. So let's just make my way over to the nearby town here. Bear in mind, we didn't gain a huge amount of anything really from this and uh, actually you know what i do have to go into my inventory real quick and just do auto equip and then we will go back into the trade screen so technically what i can do is i can do smithing and i can gain a huge amount of cash by doing smithing but i'm actually not going to do that at least at the moment i am going to more focus on literally just trying to gain as much money as possible and then selling various trade goods wherever I can. So for example, fish right here. I can buy this for 13 and I can sell it for 36. Again, probably not the greatest. Ooh, now that's pretty cool. Now, here's the thing. If I can find olives elsewhere, we will be in a great position. Ah, oil is very, very good. Look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, because I have such a small amount of money right now, it's probably not going to give me that much. So, for example, if I were to buy three of these, that's literally all I can do right now. That is literally all I can do. So, I guess we'll just do that, and then we'll go back to the town and hope that we don't uh, come across any other enemies that really want to fight me. But, um, yeah, that's also something. We should probably be on the lookout for some villages that produce olives because if that is indeed the case then we can buy them for a very cheap price or try to get the cheapest price possible and then well sell it on that's the the life of a trader isn't it right Pelosaur? yes yes i'm sure he's he's just ruining the day that i created him yet again <laughs> or shall we say included him in another playthrough all right so let's have a look see here <laughs> oh this is this is, this is great, isn't it? This is absolutely fantastic. Oh, I probably should have leveled up a little bit, shouldn't I? Yes. Probably uh, spending some points would have made a little bit of a difference. But as you can see, they, they still take some pretty decent damage. I would like to do some damage to some of these guys as well because my recruit is going to be um, kind of having some problems if I don't. There we go. Took out one of them at least. Maybe a little bit. Oh, nice. I'm actually kind of surprised I'm doing so much damage with a bow, to be honest. Oh, I have a tier 2 soldier. Oh, I had no idea that I had a tier 2 soldier. Okay, yeah, I guess it's because he uh, uh, he did level up and uh, he was injured. But there you go. Easy enough. Horse archery is very, very powerful. We know that, don't we? 
Yes, we certainly do. All right, so there you go. That is another victory for us. Oh, yeah, I forgot to sell those prisoners as well. I probably should have done that, but that's fine. Not a problem. And now we are back. And now we are back. So we can go into our trade here, and we will be selling the oil. And look at how much money we're going to gain from this. It is just insane, the amount of cash that we're going to be able to get. And I can just sell all of this. I will be selling absolutely all of it. Now, bear in mind that I do have a mod that makes it possible to automatically pin, or should we say lock, various things. So these things will not be sold. So in other words, food and horses. Those things will not be sold unless I want to sell them. And that is, in my opinion, really, really cool. All right, so otherwise, let's have a look here. What other things can we buy for a very cheap price and then sell them on? That's the thing. We don't have that much. Ooh, leather. Mm. Leather is actually very expensive here, however, which is not exactly great. But I could sell it for almost double the amount. It might make sense. It's going to go up, though. Uh, I don't really want to do that, to be honest. But we're going to gain... Look at that. We're gaining some trade skill. We're gaining a huge amount of trade skill right there. I do want to get some more focus points in trade. And we also do want to spec into trade as well. So in other words, we do want to spec into wholesaler. Yeah, because uh, obviously with the uh, problem that I had earlier, my game actually crashed. So that, uh, yeah, that uh, definitely helped me out. So yeah, we just have to apply those points yet again. But anyway... Now what we're going to do is I'm going to spec into social as much as I possibly can. And then we will also get some more focus points in riding skill. We are going to be trying to be the fastest. Oh, look at that. There we go. We gained another level. That is actually kind of crazy. So there we go. Yeah, we are going to try and be the fastest person in the land because that's exactly what we need to do. We need to be as fast as possible. So there's some dates over there. Mm. Now, here's the thing. I need to be very open to going into absolutely any situation whatsoever. I'm going to try and work something out right here. So as you can see, we can just literally give them 163 dinars and then they will let us go. And we're going to gain some charm points from that as well, which is actually very nice. So let's go in here, get a little bit of information about what's going on. And then we can also figure out whether we want to sell something here. So we could technically sell the leather here if we wanted to. But I think we can probably sell it. Yeah, we can sell it at the other town for much more. But I'm thinking that there might be something else here that we can sell for a bigger profit. Let's see. The bigger ticket items would be best. So, for example, oil. Oil is going to be very, very good. But unfortunately, I don't have any extra cash. So I guess we won't be able to do any of those bigger ticket items for the moment. But... That's okay, because we can go and sell that leather, and that's going to get us a pretty decent amount of cash. Bear in mind that we probably will also participate in a bit of a tournament. You know, investment money. We need some investment money, and uh, of course, uh, Pelasaur definitely wants to do the best that he possibly can. Well, it looks as though uh, Razi is uh, actually coming into a bit of trouble here. And, uh, <laughs> ooh, never mind. The Azariah coming back. Oh, yes. They are just going to murder the Empire right there. I am happy to see that. I am not going to mince words. I am very happy to see that because I do not like the Empire one bit. But there you go. That is absolutely fine with me. Ah, very nice. Okay, so we can buy some olives here. This is basically going to... Uh, Still give us a nice, decent profit, but it is also going to give us a huge amount to sell at the other town, which is exactly what we want to do. So we're still going to gain 100. We're gaining more trade skill, exactly what we want. And then we're going to head back. I do want to get some more horses as well along the way, potentially, but I only have 147 gold at the moment. So probably won't make the most sense right now. But uh, personally, I find trading in Bannerlord to be extremely satisfying and it's all thanks to the trade rumors it's all thanks to the trade rumors it's all thanks to the profit and loss it's all thanks to basically every single little bit of information that they provide you nowadays because in warband that was not exactly the case you would be uh, kind of out of luck if you wanted any additional information but anyway there you go sell those a thousand gold right there pretty good and we can now also buy some we can buy some more horses if we want to, uh, but they're not that cheap. 
they're kind of even in price at the moment so probably not going to do anything there but we could buy something else here and as you can see we can now sell oh look at this wine mmm fantastic look at that we can buy wine for a hundred even though it is actually more expensive but we can sell it at Denustica for 258 which is actually quite nice I'm actually just going to take a look at what else we can sell here because there's a huge amount of stuff to go through Mm, I'm thinking... No, I don't really want to buy leather again. Mm, hardwood might actually be something that we want to go for a little bit later on. Ah, we could sell tools, but that's only going to give me an 80 increase right there. And bear in mind that wine is still pretty good. I guess I'm just going to buy a little bit of it, and then we'll just trade with that. As you can see, my trade skill is just skyrocketing right now. Just thanks to all of these little trades. Or, you know, just little, little trades here and there, you know. Money is not really going to be too much of an issue for us as we go forward. Because there is another trait that I want to take at 50 trade skill that is going to make caravans extremely profitable for us. And that is going to be the thing that I will be very interested in getting. I am actually going to sell these dates right here because I think they're probably going to be... Uh, quite good for us to sell here right let me actually just have a look yeah they don't have any dates right here so i guess that's uh i guess it's all right to sell it here oh now this is uh no not as good as i thought never mind not as good as i thought i could buy leather here for a pretty decent amount though so let's buy leather a little bit of it let's buy five and i'm still gonna pay 89 for this which is not exactly great but yeah, well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. What about some beer here? No, no. Okay, yeah, that's not exactly great either. Okay, well, I'm happy. I'm happy. Just as long as I can increase my profit margin, that's all that I really need to do. So, oh, it looks, oh look at that. Wow, they have actually taken that, that town over there. That's pretty crazy. All right, so we also do ha still have those prisoners. I do need to sell those. Let me see if I can remember to do that this time around. Did I level up? No, I didn't. I thought I actually did for a second there. Okay, so... There is actually a tournament going on here. I think I might want to do something about that. Let's sell nothing, apparently. And uh, they do have some step horses for a very cheap price as well, by the way. So it might make sense for me to maybe buy... Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to buy anything right now because I would like to participate in the arena. But I'm actually just going to see what... Ah, that, ah they sell dates over there. It might be good to uh, go and scout that out. But first, I will be doing a tournament, and, uh, well, Pelosaur, <laughs> uh, Pelosaur, we know, we know how good he is, don't we, yeah. All right, so there we go, nice wager of 19, well, we're going to get 1900 if we win this, let's see if we can. This is the first time we've done a, uh, an Azurai tournament, as far as I'm aware, so this is going to be quite interesting. Oh, nice damage, wow, Pelosaur, you are a beast. Oh yes, we know that he is a beast. He just needs to realize it himself, right? I mean, that's that's generally what what's going on there. Oh, nice. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now, I'm a bit worried about my forces being ganged up on. Yep, as you can see. And we have now gained a level. Oh yes. We are gaining the levels. Like no one's business because Pelosaur literally has the worst stats of all time, <laughs> except in trade skill. And uh well, Oh no, no! The, oh no! These these guys are gonna these guys are gonna try and these, we, they're gonna try. You know they're gonna try pretty hard. I'm surprised this guy hasn't tried to get on that horse. I'm kind of trying to bait him to get on the horse if at all possible. Now I have to be a bit careful with this guy because he also has a pole arm of some kind. I actually have some throwing weapons. I should probably use those, shouldn't I? That would make sense. Yeah, I'm gonna use some throwing weapons. Why not? Get him. Ah. No, no such luck. Okay, well, throwing skill is one now. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, we got him. We got him. And we actually took him out. Pelosaur. Oh, the legend. The legend is, is, is real. Very real indeed. Okay, I've just got to make sure that I block in a uh, straight motion right there. Because if this guy gets any hit on us then we're probably just going to end up dying immediately. We know how Pelosaur can be. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. Last man standing right there. Very, very... <laughs> very surprising. All right, here we go. 
Okay, so I have a shield at the very least. Uh, okay, let's see how I can do. Let's see how I do here. Oh, nice 60 damage. Wow. Oh my. Okay, that was actually kind of... That was way too easy. Okay, an Imperial Infantryman is actually going to want to fight us now. I have two in athletics. Okay. Okay, nice damage. Oh dear. Uh, th these are long swords. Long swords to deal with right now. Nice. Yes, there we go. Oh, you don't know. You don't know what's going on right there. And we're playing on challenging combat AI. It doesn't seem that challenging to me right now. It's kind of a bit weird because usually I would be like, oh, you know, be, be you know, calm down, calm down. These guys are pretty tough, but no, apparently they're not, uh, they're not acting that tough at the moment. So we'll see how we do. All right, here we go. Come on, Pelasaur, you've got this. You've got this. We need that investment money. We need to be able to get that money to be able to buy more stuff and then sell it on for a very, very minor profit. <laughs> That's generally how it goes, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I should just go for the overhead. I feel like the overhead is the way to go. Ah, oh, shield bash. Take that. There we go. Nice. Yes, the shield bash. And the final round. We're up against an Imperial Veteran Archer. We will be getting a Southern Heavy Mace as well, which would be quite nice because... We might be able to take more prisoners as a result of using it, maybe? But uh, let's see if I can do this. Ah, I was hoping that I could take the, uh, the initiative a little bit. No. Ah, no, no. Okay, let's go for a shield. Yes, nice. Okay, I was being a little bit greedy there, as you could no doubt tell. <laughs> we are a trader. We are a trader. So we might as well, you know, be as greedy as possible. That's what we're trying to do. All right, there we go. That is a nice victory for us. And we're going to gain 8 Renown and a Heavy Mace, of course, and 2,416 from bets, even though it said I was actually only going to get, uh, you know, not that, at the very least. Okay, ooh, who's this? Ooh, he's got some... Oh, he's an Azurai culture. Mm. I would like to recruit him, but uh, I guess I won't for the moment. We're just going to sell all of these guys, get some roguery points as well. My roguery is literally zero, or now it's three. So we definitely need to do something about that too. All right. So we've got some decent cash now. So I might as well go over there and see if I can... Oh, dear. Mm. Okay. Yeah, there's another mod that I have, by the way. It increases the amount of bandits on the map in each party by a variable between normal and three. So they can technically have three times the amount of units which is exactly what I wanted I actually wanted that because it's uh, it's a lot of fun to see some large bandit parties running around and uh, you know who knows maybe we can take advantage of that as we go forward all right so I'm actually going to be moving on now because I do have that leather in my inventory I do have this mace as well probably not going to be using it I'm probably just going to be selling it for a uh, profit and uh, we'll see how that goes. Now, bear in mind that once we do get to 50 trade skill, which is going to be pretty soon, I think. Oh, there's another dates place here. Yes, I would like to go here and see if I can buy some dates. Yeah, I can sell it at Danustica for 69, but that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for much more of a cheaper price. If these dates were about 30, then I'm, I would probably be like, yeah, okay, definitely going to do that. But as it stands right now, it's probably not worth it. And uh, oh, those looters. Hmm. I'm thinking I might be able to. I might be able to beat those guys. Uh, I feel like I should get more recruits though. Wow, there's a lot of potential recruits to be had here. But uh, yeah. Okay. So now we can sell my leather for a very nice price. Eight hundred and twenty-nine. Very good. And what else do we have here? So let's see. Uh, I'm going to go for the bigger ticket items for the most part, and then we'll see if there's anything here. Wow. Apparently, uh, not much. Not much is having any trade rumors right now. Uh, I can sell this. Oil for 136. No, not really going to be that good. Beer. No, that's also 48. I can sell that. Uh, fish is all right if you want a smaller ticket item. But personally, for me, no, no, no. I will be selling the mace, though. And that's it. There we go. Okay, so we've now got 3,700. That's pretty good. Now, bear in mind that I'm not going to be spamming... Uh, tournaments as much as I would with other characters because I personally feel like earning my money through trading 
is the way to go because that's exactly what we're supposed to be doing, you know? We are, we are a trader. So technically, I could go and uh, just do some more tournaments and things like that, but I personally feel like we should try and earn our money through trading uh, alone as much as possible. Anyway, going to take some more Sumter horses, more mules and things like that, and we will probably... Mm, do I want to buy anything else, though? Do I want to buy anything else? No, not really. Uh, we could buy we could buy one desert horse. I guess I will buy one desert horse because I would probably like to have a bit of an upgraded horse myself. And then we will move on. All right. So we got some desert bandits in the area as well. Desert bandits are kind of tricky because they do tend to have horses themselves. So that might be a bit problematic, but we'll just see what's going on here. All right. Uh, ooh, this is pretty cheap. And you can sell it at one of those other towns. I'm looking for something better, though. Ah, look at this. Oil. We can sell that at Denustica for 136. Going to buy five of those. Actually going to buy more because it seems like it's still pretty good even after buying it. Because, of course, the price changes dependent on when you buy it and how much you buy and so on. So we need to be a bit careful of that. Yeah, that's very expensive. Uh, fur is okay, but I think that's a bit much. Yeah, don't think I'm going to be doing anything with that. So Denustica is where we will probably be ending up going in just a second. Just going to continue recruiting a couple of people. And how far away is the other town? It is quite far. So I think I'm just going to make my way back to Denustica now. And we will just sell those things. And then I'm actually going to be making my way probably out of Azurai territory for the most part because I feel like the layout as it stands right now is not very good for trading. You can kind of see that because there's literally just one, two, three, four towns in a row and there's not many different places for me to go as a result. So I'm going to continue onward from Tanustika and what, what we're actually going to do is I will go to Onira next then I will go to Phaikion, and then I'll go to Lycaron, and Poros, and Zionica, and I'll just go to all of these different towns, trying to gather as much intelligence as possible. I know, intelligence with Pelasaur, it's a, it's a pretty rare thing, but, you know, bear with me. Ah, oh, okay, apparently there's someone attempting to take this. So apparently an Azurai vassal is attempting to take Danustica. Very fast, isn't it? Very fast for them to actually get into such... And uh, such a such a quick battle, but uh, oh well, never mind. Okay, so we're actually going to be doing battle with a couple of looters here. I didn't want to let them get away with attacking me, so we'll see what we can do. Also, bear in mind that the Azurai do have extremely good polearm troops. So if we do decide to go up against, I don't know, maybe the the Kuzate or maybe Vlandia or something like that, then I think we might actually do quite well because they all have. As I said, the polearm. Polearm troops are just really, really powerful in that in that regard. So I'm a bit worried about this because I'm missing a huge amount. Oh, yeah, this might be problematic. Okay, there we go. He's gained level. Nice. Good work. Good work, sir. And I have actually distracted a couple of them. So hopefully my forces will be able to deal with them for the most part. And then uh, these other guys will... Oh, look, they're running. Oh, fantastic. Very good. Okay, I might lose my horse in a second. Yep, I am. So these guys need to charge in because otherwise I'm going to be out in the middle of nowhere without, well, anything to help me. So this might be problematic. Ah, no. No, no, no. Uh, no, no. Oh, get him. Oh, yeah, there we go. Got him. Okay, yes. Yes. Help me, friends. Okay, Pelasaur. Ooh. Pelosaur is surviving. Can you believe it? And there we go. The other enemies are fleeing, so that is all that I asked for. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. Okay, so I think I'm pretty good there. Not too bad. Uh, we're going to gain a whole bunch of stuff, which is really, really nice, and nothing to give me any kind of upgrade, unfortunately. I think I might have gained a cloak, potentially. No, no cloaks. Wow, that's that's kind of sad. 
Gotta say, that is actually kind of sad. Oh well, never mind. Now, Danustica is still under siege, so I'm still gonna just wait here, actually. I'm gonna level up a couple more people into these Mamluks here. They can level up into Mamluk regulars, but you need horses to be able to do that, so I'm just gonna go for the Axemen for the most part. What do these Axemen actually go into? Now, bear in mind, this is the new Azurai troop tree that I have installed through a mod, and this makes them just that little bit better and kind of balances them out a little as well. So you can see here that we have skirmishers, we have archers, we have infantry, we have heavy cavalry, and then we have um, the, uh, the, the guards and things like that. So these axemen are going to go into the guards, and these guys actually don't appear to actually have shields. I can't turn this guy around, unfortunately, but it doesn't seem like they have shields. So the axemen are more like berserker kind of units. So I'm going to be very interested to see how that goes. I do have a couple more points in Steward now, hilariously enough. I actually did level up twice. So let's um, let's get a little bit of accuracy with bows. Why not? And uh, we should probably get a little bit more in Social. I know I've maxed out my Social skill very, very quickly indeed. And that is on purpose, completely on purpose. And we will also be, I think we'll probably get some Steward skill as well. Because that's the thing, we are going to be that kind of character. We're not really going to be focusing too much on being very good at fighting. We're going to be much more of a commander slash trader slash whatever kind of character. And that's it. That's basically what we're going to go for. But I'm actually going to increase my charm skill focus rate at the moment because charm is going to come in mighty handy later down the line. So, yeah, we're just going to let them do whatever they want to do. They actually took it, fantastically enough. Wow, pretty impressive for them to take that. And we're going to sell the oil for a massive profit of 936. Well, technically, it's not a profit, but I bought it for about 400, I think. So that's pretty good. And we will sell absolutely everything that we have. And there you go. We now have 1150. I will be buying some... Wow, I, I can literally buy step horses for such a cheap price right here. I'm actually going to be buying a couple... Uh, because we would like to get a little bit of extra speed for our footman. And that is going to be really, really good. And we probably want to get a little bit more, a couple of more, a couple more saddle horses. 320 gold we're still getting, which is just fine. Really is. Ah, now I'm thinking this might actually be quite good. So if I buy grapes here, I can buy them for 34 and then I can sell them for basically double at Danustica. And that's very, very close by as well. That's the main reason why I'm thinking about this. I'm, I'm thinking about buying some olives as well here and also some wine. Seems like they are dying for wine over there. They're also dying for oil as well. That's actually kind of crazy. So I'm going to buy a whole bunch of oil and everything. And we're going to make a massive, massive journey over to Danustica. It's not actually that far away, but it is going to slow me down a pretty heavy amount potentially. It might not because we have quite a few horses here and I might not get slowed down that much. But yeah, this is looking pretty good. I'm going to buy some olives as well. These are actually kind of expensive at the moment. So I'm going to watch out for how much I'm actually spending here. And we're going to buy this at a higher than average market price, by the way, as well. So if the market changes by the time we get back there, oh dear, <laughs> maybe we can work out something. Uh, 208, sure, you can just take that, why not? Going to get my charm skill up a little bit as well, so that's pretty good. 208 gold is really not that much, considering I might very well end up losing that fight, and I didn't really want to chance it. I might be able to beat... A looter party of about 20. Oh, I could not pay all my wages either. That's really great. I'm literally running with nothing. I literally have nothing in my pockets right now. Pelasaur, what are you doing? Get over there. Thank you very much. Is he... Are you serious, sir? Are you serious right now? Oh, dear. I have no money. I could go over to the other... Oh, no. I could go over to the other place, um, but I kind of want to sell here. So I'm hopeful that... Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. They're actually going to fight. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Fight. Fight each other. Yes. Yes. There we go. 
Mmm, yes, that is exactly what we like. Pelosaur, I mean, he is the, an agent of destruction, is he not? So, you know, he is uh, perfectly happy to see people attacking each other in all kinds of ways. So there we go. That is fantastic. And now we're going to be gaining a whole bunch. And did, did we gain more? Did we actually gain more than what I, uh, what I actually bought? Because as far as I'm aware, we, we've literally gained like 300 more or something like that. But did we gain a much? Did, did we gain much more? Oh no! Now I'm now I'm not entirely sure. I thought that this was going to be an absolutely insane profit for us, but apparently not. But we are getting a huge amount of trade skills, so I suppose that really does help. And I am actually just going to be buying some grain, grapes, butter, dates. Uh, I don't want to buy the grapes back. Actually, that's just pointless. So I'm just going to buy. What? I'm going to pay 800 for this? Are you serious? No way. I'm not buying that. Thank you very much. I'm just going to buy all of that. There we go. 450. That's a little bit better for us. And I could buy some... Oh, no. Imperial recruits. I don't really want Imperials. No offense. <laughs> no offense. Okay. So let's actually just go into the tavern here. I'm just going to choose the units that I'm going to sell. Get a couple more points in roguery as well. I know that maybe you can go and just sell them automatically, but I'm a bit, uh, yeah, a bit worried about that. So I didn't really want to do it. And we have now leveled up once again. So now we have trade skill 50. That actually provides us this. So you can either have caravan master or town merchant. Now what that does is it basically allows you to pay less wages to your workshops. Also your party can carry 30% more weight. Or on the other hand, you pay 20% less wage for caravans. Now the caravan thing is in my opinion, absolutely insane. 20% less wage for caravans. I already have the Azurai cultural fee, uh, cultural um, cultural bonus. And basically what that does is that makes it so that the initial cost of caravans is reduced by 30% as far as I'm aware. And I hope it's working. But anyway, I'm just going to increase my charm a little bit more as well. And I don't know what else to improve. I guess we will just be improving our endurance a little bit here because we need as much endurance as possible to level up that that dastardly riding skill as much as we possibly can. All right, so we've got some sheep here. We've got some fur. What else do we want to go for? Sheep. Wow, there's a huge amount of sheep here. Flax, silver ore. Mm. The silver ore might actually be something nice. So we'll probably take a look at that in just a second. All right, what's going on here? Can sell this. Uh, the cheese. Danustica is buying alcohol like no one's business. What's going on with that? And... Yeah, um, yeah, butter is actually doing pretty well over there as well. So it might might make sense. Might make sense, considering it's a smaller ticket item. I uh, might be able to make a good go of it. 721. All right, so let's... Um, we're going to have to be a bit careful here. Ooh, I can buy it for 29 and sell it for 73. Linen. Liking this. Okay, yep, yep, liking it, still liking it, still liking it. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so we just spent 1,460, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make our way over to Dinustico as fast as possible. Obviously, because we had to wait a little bit, I think I ate into my profits a little by having my army actually eat some of my stuff. And that was the main problem, I think, with how much profit we uh, ended up gaining beforehand. But now that we've got some butter, let's sell the butter. That's going to sell for a pretty decent amount. 1,460, right? Yeah, so 1,460. Let's sell all of this as well. Wow, we are making so much bank from that. Look at that, 3,200. That is just insanity. It really is very, very nice indeed. And uh, let's, let's actually go and fight these looters. Why not? Let's go and uh, volunteer to fight some looters. I think that might be a fun idea. I do need to, at some point send my units in by themselves and just do a bit of an auto resolve because that's going to get me so many skill points in tactics it really is going to make a big difference and uh you know that that's just going to make it even faster for me to level up so that's kind of it's kind of cool you know it's kind of cool that's also kind of something that you might want to consider doing yourself if you are having a particular skill like for example, me, I've got pretty bad, or I used to have pretty bad bow skill. Then you just use your bow a lot, and you're going to have a huge amount of skill ups. And it's really going to make 
a huge difference in how many, you know, how much skill gain you're going to get, how much experience you're going to end up getting, and then as a result, you will be able to level up just that much faster. And it seems like that guy is now running away. Do you think I can hit him from here? Pelosaur, you've got this. No, okay, apparently not. Oh, oh, I actually did hit him. Okay, fantastic. Oh, and then I missed. Literally, that that whizzed by his ear. Did you see that? That was actually kind of hilarious. Okay, well, there you go. Nice victory for us. Uh, we gained a little bit of uh, extra renown and things like that. And... Uh, yeah, this stuff is not exactly great. Ooh, I, I seem to have a better horse for him. Oh, very nice. Oh, the step horse is apparently better than the desert horse, even though the step horse was cheaper. Okay, well, good to know. Good to know. All right, so we'll just continue on. We've got to be a bit careful of those mountain bandits. Those mountain bandits are going to be kind of harsh for us. I'm actually going to start getting some Mamluk regulars right here. And we'll get some Mamluk guards as well. And we should probably go for some skirmishers too. I feel like the skirmishers are going to be super fun for us. So we'll do that. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to keep a small-ish army. We're going to cultivate them into some people that will literally just knock other people's socks off and that is exactly how we're going to play things going forward and now look at this beer 28 i can sell this at danustica for 62 might be pretty good uh yeah it's still cheap still cheap still cheap i can literally double my money right here i can double my money can't believe it okay yeah so i will just take 1600 <laughs> 1600 golds worth of beer ah oh, pelosaur pelosaur Yes. you. For some reason, I want to say Pelican. Every single time I say Pelosaur, I want to say Pelican. I don't know why. New Orleans, perhaps. Maybe that's it. Anyway, let's go over to the trade skill here and level it up. Oh, yes. We're going to be le leveling this like no one's business. So, uh, yeah, well, this is Pelosaur's business now. <laughs> All right, there we go. And we can sell the other stuff that we had. So that's 3,400 uh, 3, basically, which is just crazy, crazy good. And is there anything else that I can actually buy here for a cheap price and then sell it for some, you know, for a decent profit somewhere else? Because Vostrum might be pretty good to sell at, you know, because I do want to continue advancing my exploration so that we do have the intelligence possible to, to go there and uh, do what we need to do. But it seems like Danustica is literally just buying everything at this point. So I guess I will just sell everything. And we've now got 3,200. I gained another seven points in trade skill. Leveling up trade skill is fantastic. I've never done a trader before. I think I've done a trader once before in Warband. And it wasn't really so much a trader as being something that you kind of needed to do. Uh, to make money in that particular mod. But being able to do trading is so fun. It is. It is so fun, I gotta say. I, I highly recommend it. If you haven't done tr a trading character before, I would definitely recommend trying it out. Because it may seem like it is maybe a little bit uh, maybe a little bit tedious, but I actually find it quite relaxing to be able to go to all of these various places, see exactly what you're going to be getting from it, and then, you know, Make that money. Oh, yes. Make that money. Now, bear in mind that, of course, uh, it can be quite stressful if you do get attacked with a full inventory full of extremely expensive products. And then all of a sudden you have, you know, I don't know, <laughs> mountain bandits, forest bandits. Name your name your poison. You know, pick your poison in that in that respect, you know, coming at you. Then uh, that's going to be a bit a uh, bit problematic. But I'm actually going to buy the silver ore right here for a pretty massive amount. But as you can see, Danustica is once again drunk off all of the wine and beer that we've sold them. And they are now wanting silver ore. So I guess that's pretty good. They want cheese too, apparently. They are uh, somewhat of a hedonistic society, are they not? Seems like that's the case, at least. And uh, I will be heading back to Danustica once again. I was actually thinking to myself, oh yes, I'll, I'll go out and explore the world a little bit, you know. Because exploring the world is going to be quite nice for, for little Pelosaur, you know. He's uh, he's served Barney for long enough. It might make sense for him to have a bit of a fun time himself, you know. Going around, enjoying life's pleasures, you know. Pure, I was going to say pure green water. No, pure blue water and wonderful skies and so on. And then going into all these taverns and things. 
you know, he could enjoy himself a little bit. But no, no, no. <laughs> We're just going to be staying at Denustica, apparently. And there's a thousand already. Look at that. 2,200 just from that. We can also sell the grain. Don't want to sell all my grain because obviously uh, I literally need it for my own <laughs> for my own food and stuff like that. Okay, so we could buy an old workhorse for an absolutely... What, what, how, why is this so cheap? I guess because it's old, but still, it's giving us insane amounts of inventory capacity, which is so good. So, yeah, I guess I'll just buy a couple more horses as well, just in case. Another two skill points for us right there, too. And, uh, yeah, I guess, um, I guess we'll just continue looking around for things, because that place sold us that silver ore for such an insane price. And, I mean, it was just normal market price, but Danustica is just, I don't even know, they're off their rocker, aren't they? They really are. Anyway, I've got to be a bit careful going into the mountains here because I really don't want to get attacked by mountain bandits if I can help it. Those guys are probably going to be kind of tough. Uh, we've got cotton here. I'm not entirely sure how good cotton is. Oh, well, Donustica wants it. <laughs> uh, 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 I have no idea why. I really don't. Okay, I guess I'm going to buy some. Uh, still, yeah, well, still almost doubling my money, basically. So, that's good i guess okay yeah let's just buy a bunch of that and uh, i'm actually going to head on and uh, we can buy more cotton over there olives do they need do they need olives it seems like i'm literally just getting them all the supplies they need for some reason i guess that's the reason why everyone wants to take it <laughs> everyone wants to siege uh Danusica because it has just so much beer and wine and cheese and all kinds of other stuff in there Okay, what else do we want here? Ooh, an Imperial Charger for 202? That's very cheap. I will take that. All right, so we've arrived at one of the other towns. I have sold my cotton and uh, a couple of other things to Danustica. So you can see I have a little bit of extra cash right there. And I have arrived at one of the Azurai towns because I thought to myself, ah, oh, it'd probably be a good idea to recruit some more people because I actually just lost a huge amount of them in a battle against looters. Yeah. Yeah, pretty awful, right? Yeah, pretty awful. All right, so Danustica still wants a huge amount of olives, but doesn't seem to want that much more, apart from maybe dates and things like that. So we'll buy a couple of dates. As you can see, these things are selling for a pretty decent amount. And there we go. As long as you buy them for under the average market price, you should have a pretty decent time of things. So hopefully I will be able to buy some more uh, ah, I see, I see. So the, the price is actually kind of global or regional in the area. So if you do have a uh, relatively cheap item, it will rise in price in every single area, including villages, if you buy it in a town. So that's good to know. Very, very good to know. Ah, oh, it seems like I actually did advance in level as well. All right, so I'm going to actually go and get some more... I'll get some more arrows. Why not? Get some more arrows for our riding skill right there. And I think I probably want to get something like... Uh, I think probably steward skill. The steward skill will probably be quite important. Yeah, I think, I think it would be probably quite important. So I will be taking some additional points in that. And then we will go for another point in endurance. Because of course we want to level up our riding skill as fast as possible. And uh, yeah, bear in mind that I'm running around with basically recruits now because all my guys basically uh, basically died. So that is not exactly great. Uh, I, I guess we'll fight. Yeah, I guess we will kind of fight. Bear in mind that uh, Pelosaur's one-handed weapon is actually pretty good for fighting on horseback. It seems like the Azurai have some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool options for mounted combat. And I actually quite like that. So it might be cool to uh, see if I can maybe get a couple of those, you know, for our companions and things like that. Nice headshot, Pelosaur. Very good. Very good work, sir. Uh, yes, I'm now being pelted to death by all kinds of stones, which is not exactly nice. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll just see what I can do here. Uh, there's just so many of them as well. That's the, that's the main problem. They just throw all the stones at once. And uh, thankfully, my Azurai recruits are doing a pretty decent job of eliminating most of the looters. So I shouldn't have to worry too much. 
Uh, I've got to continue running around though, because if I stop for even a little bit, I'm going to have some problems. Uh, oh, I just can't believe it, really. My, my accuracy is just terrible. Oh well, never mind. I'm going to get out my uh, little slashy weapon now. See if I can maybe help out a little bit here. And bear in mind that I do want to get my uh, one-handed weapon proficiency leveled up as fast as possible as well. Because, of course, it is actually very low at the moment. And it might actually pay me in the end to level up something like that. So I'm thinking we'll probably level up uh, pole arms and one-handed or something like that. And then we'll, we'll go from there. Not going to take the peasants or anything. We'll take everything else, though. Thank you. And, oh yeah, I haven't actually gone into this town yet, so it would be quite good if I did that to see exactly what kind of trade rumors are going on here, because you never know. Bear in mind that trade rumors do expire in timing. So, for example, if you don't see those particular towns in the trade rumors anymore, or the best ones that you were previously selling to, then you're probably going to need to revisit that town, because otherwise it's not going to give you up-to-date information and that's very important. All right, what else, what else do we have going on here? Uh, tools, not so good. Uh, can, yeah, not, not so good, not so good. Furs, no, no. It doesn't seem like this place has basically anything with the exception of olives. Olives might be okay. Um, yeah, let's buy, a couple, let's buy a couple of olives, 600 gold. That should be all right. And let's go... Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I would like to recruit from here, actually. Ah, unfortunately, no recruiting for me. No recruiting for me. All right, well, let's go to Danustica then, I suppose. And uh, <laughs> seems like that is literally what we should name our faction. We'll just name it Danustica, because apparently this is the only place that I'm going to be staying in. And there's Regea as well. And she's attempting to take this at the moment. But thankfully, I have a lot of food at the moment because I have so many... So many foodstuffs in my uh, in my party and uh, hopefully my troops are not going to eat it all that would be kind of bad but anyway I'm gonna get some more tribesmen this time around I feel like uh, getting the cavalry I mean that's the thing we, we are gonna get cavalry as well but for the moment we're gonna concentrate on infantry and archers skirmishers things like that because I think that the Azurai archers and skirmishers are probably going to be quite powerful and hopefully um that will work out in our favor. All right, so we're going to be selling dates here. As you can see, they're all highlighted. It's all fantastic. There we go. Sell all of that. Grain. Fish is actually pretty good here too. Olives? Oh, apparently olives changed. Mm. Seems like the price for olives actually changed at the last minute, which is not exactly great, but I am going to be able to sell the loot from the various other fights that we did, so not a big deal. Not not a particularly big deal, but yeah, that's, that's what can happen, you know? So that's the reason why it's probably a good idea also to be a bit careful about what you invest in. So for example, the wine here. This is pretty good. I'm actually going to take uh, most of this wine, and we're going to take it over to Razich and... Uh, Ooh, look at that. My trade skill is now 73. I can't wait to see what the next uh, trait actually is for trading, because as I say before, I haven't actually done trading ever in uh, Bannerlord, and I haven't even looked at the tree that much. So it's going to be very fun to find out. I think probably at the end of this particular trade route right here, we're probably going to see how much we will be gaining. I'm going to continue recruiting troops as well because let's face it I'd like to get as I said before a small elite band of troops and uh, hopefully that's going to work out quite well for us bear in mind that I'm not really going to be aligning myself with anyone either I'm probably just going to create my own faction in the end if I can and we'll sell all of this and look at that that's 1200 how much did I actually buy that for I feel like I probably spent way too much I've got 6,000 now oh well and 74 trade skill ah terrible isn't it yes well let's actually just take a look and see what we do here Ah, oh, your caravans gather trade rumors also mark item prices relative to average price that is pretty fantastic and your workshops also gather trade rumors 
yeah, personally, I feel like um, the caravans gathering trade rumors is going to be so incredibly powerful. It is going to be so powerful. And I will be, no doubt, being able to afford a caravan in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more. And I will see you next time.